Hi there. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the automated cocktail maker. Now this will make a variety of uh, classic cocktails and you can just simply order them on your smartphone. So let's get going. So first of all what you need to do is uh, scan the QR code and that will bring up a website on your phone, on your smartphone here. Now I've got my smartphone projected up on here at the moment so this is a website that it brings up and what you can see here is uh, your menu basically so these are these are all the cocktails that the uh, cocktail maker can actually make so what I'm going to do I'm um, a bit thirsty right now so let's just go for a Manhattan so I just click on Manhattan select that and then click on the make button up here let's do that brilliant what's happening here right now is uh, that light was red it's now gone to yellow that means it needs a glass. Let's put a glass on the cocktail maker. Now what you can see here is the cocktail maker actually pouring the drink. So that light is flashing. I think that's the bourbon going in for the uh, Manhattan. And it's gonna do the, um, was it driver move next? So let's have a look here. Let's go right in here. There goes the driver move in there. Let's just have a look, little look inside here and see what's going on. So, can't see much with a driver move because it's clear, but the Angostura bitters, the final final bit of this mix, um, should uh, you should be able to see that coming up the pipe very, very shortly. Here it comes. Oh, there it goes. And into the glass there. That's just a dash of uh, Angostura bitters. Just got to wait now um, for the final drips to come out and once that goes green I can take my drink. Aha, brilliant. And there we go, that is a Manhattan. And I think that may actually need a bit of a stir so let's just uh, put that down there. And grab some olives. There we are, olives. And we can stir that with the olives, let's just... Uh, yeah, off, 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 yep. There we go, just uh, grab an olive there, give it a bit of a stir with the olive. Lovely. Cheers. What you can also do is you can uh, mix a drink yourself. So um, on, on the other screen, uh, on the smartphone, uh, Web page. What you can see here is um, all the drinks that you can mix. So what we got, we got uh, bourbon, gin, vodka, rum, dry vermouth, uh, Campari, Angostura bitters, and uh, we got some orange juice in there as well. Now I'm a bit partial to um, a double rum and orange. I, I, I really like that drink. I don't know what it's called, if it's a cocktail or, or whatever. But what I can do here is I can select there a couple of shots of rum. Selected that, and oh, that's no good. Let's just get rid of that. And I've also selected uh, near enough half a pint of orange juice, so that's going to need a bigger glass. So I've selected those. Let's uh, hit the make button again. Make. Light's gone orange there, so that means it's ready for the glass. Let's uh, put the glass on. And there it goes, it's pouring the uh, rum first there. And if we open this up, we can see it's going to pour that orange juice in any minute now. There we go, you can see that orange juice go up the pipe there and into the drink there. Lovely stuff. Let's uh, ooh, take that away. Light went green. Let's just have a quick look inside here to see see how the drinks are actually served out and stuff. So um, what you can see here is every bottle has two pipes. There's a pipe up here which is the air pipe that applies the pressure into the bottle, 
and then you can see there's another pipe here which goes all the way to the bottom of the bottle so the air pressure pushes the drink out through this pipe and into the nozzle up there and it does that for each of our eight drinks in there so we've got orange juice i think that's gin or vodka gin or vodka it's bourbon down there i think that's campari and that's uh I think that's rum, that one. In the back there, we got smaller bottles for the uh, bitters, and I think there's dry vermouth there. If you fancy any ice, which you don't really need because uh, the drinks are chilled anyway, but if you do, got a little ice tray there. And if you want fizzy drinks like uh, gin and tonic, you'll have to pour the tonic yourself. I, I've tried to do it with fizzy drinks, but the fizz just goes flat, so it's best just to pour it out of the can yourself. Um, not too much hassle, really. So behind here, you can see uh, the brains of the operation. What we have there is um, eight uh, compressor motors. Now, these are pretty much commodity items. They're from uh, blood pressure monitors, so you can pick them up for about a pound each at the moment, which is quite impressive. So those push the air into the bottles. Down there, we can see the relay boards that drive the motors, um, need them isolated, obviously. Um, over here, you can see the brains of the operation. That's a ESP8266 uh, processor. So that provides the web pages, basically does all the controls, does everything. And finally down there, you can actually see the pipes going into the fridge so that's just pushing air into the fridge well that's it for the demonstration i hope you enjoyed it and um cheers